How to remember thousands of passwords effortlessly? Watch this video to find out. Today we are going to dive into the world of passwords. Passwords, how to create them, memorize them easily and how to make them flexible, strong and sturdy. For this we are going to use the course of the alphabets which we have learnt in our last video. By now you must be familiar with those codes. Just a quick test. I will give you some alphabets and see if you are able to come, come up with the codes of, for those alphabets. So let's begin. H 8 E 5 M 13 A 1 N 14 T 20 J 10 O 15 S 19 H 8 I 9 Good. So you all have passed the test. So let us begin making our passwords. For example, you have to do a password for your Yahoo Mail. Now here the Q is Yahoo which is Y. Now for in our system Y is for yak and the number is 25. So you can make it as yak25 at yahoo.com. But it need not be as simple as that. To make it strong, you have a strong and secure secret code for your family. For example, let us that code is 100 star 007. So when you do your password, you can add that code to the code which we generated just now. For example, for your Yahoo, the code will be yak 125 star 007 at yahoo.com. Let us take another example. You have to create a password for your Google. Google G. G is for group and the code is 7. So your password will be group 7 at gmail.com. But now we have to add our secret code. So our revised code would be group 107 star 007 at gmail.com. Now you have to be a little bit more innovative and also creative in this. You can use different and special characters like star, underscore, question mark, exclamatory mark and that way your codes can passwords can be multiple and you can keep them changing very easily and at the same time be able to remember them without any efforts. Now there will also be times when you will have to form codes for example your ATM. Now these are numerical codes for example the code is 1321. Now what you do here is we go from left to right and take the two digits a chunk of two digits at one time. So 1321 so the first two are 13. So 13 is for mango and the next three, third and fourth digits are 21 which is umbrella. So your code is mango umbrella. But then there is a small problem here. We have learned our codes only up to 26. What if the two digits are more than 26? For example, instead of 1321, let us say the number is 1327. So the code for 13 is mango and the next one is 27. So because it is more than 26, you take one digit. So then you just take 2. 2 is for baby and the next one is 7 which is a group. So now for the 1327, you have the code mango, baby and group. You can make a small story and try to just memorize that. Note it down somewhere so that even if anybody sees it, they will not be able to decipher it. There are different ways how you can make this and with practice you will be able to come out with more and more ideas as to how to create these passwords. With this we stop over here. In our next video we are going to see how to memorize poetry within minutes. Till then take care, stay safe and God bless. Thank you.